Hi and welcome back to a new video. Today we will do another viewer mail video because I surprisingly received this package from Bernd who sent this over to me to our Thermal Grizzly address. I didn't even know that I'm going to receive this, but it seems to be extremely interesting. It says it's a Sotec Nitro hardware OC controller. Basically, what it's telling me is that this should be an external overclocking device for your PC. Makita, <laughs> we just had Makita here on our table for the German part and then she was uh, causing too much trouble so we uh, put her out of the room and uh, seems like she's not approving our decision but anyway. This says it's unlocked to overclock, it's compatible with GeForce 8, 9, GTS and GTX series graphics card. That's also why he included this 9800 GTX plus. This is a G92B card based graphics card. Few years older, but will be very interesting if this is also working with more recent cards maybe because it says it's supporting GTX cards, right? So it could be GTX 1080, I don't know. We will find out. Just looking at the packaging, we have this like I don't know, orange, reddish thing inside, like the Soltec colored thing, a stand. Looking at the back, seems like a USB cable for connection and driver CD is included. This thing is definitely featuring a VFD display, so not like an OLED, but VFD is basically a display with like predefined segments which are lighting up. Might be able to see that over the camera. So not much to it apart from a USB connector and three buttons. We have a stand to put it on, USB cable. But what I really like is that it says support for XP and Vista. And Vista should mean that we should be able to run this on a more recent platform, hopefully. The graphics card which Bernd included into the delivery is a 9800 GTX Plus. So it's a G92B card. And this should also be no problem to install this on Windows 10. And then I hope that we can just get the Vista driver to run on Windows 10. It's also a different story to always get legacy cards to run on more recent systems. That's sometimes a bit of a problem with like CSM and stuff, but should be no problem on this C390 platform with this 8700K. Driver is installed for that card, so that was really no problem at all. Okay, so at least if you just connect this via USB, nothing happens. Like, like nothing, nothing. Okay, so maybe we just install the driver from the CD. Let's see if this works out on Win 10 but seems to be no problem. That was easy. Definitely made some good progress after trying to install it again in the device manager. Check this out. So if I launch the Sotec Firestorm software that is included, I can power this up. But for whatever reason, this is making an extremely strange noise. I'm not sure if you could pick it up after I started this thing. I will move my microphone closer. Not sure if you could hear it, but that is an extremely annoying noise. Not sure what it comes from. Seems like there is like an inverter included, like some thing that transforms maybe DC to AC to a high voltage or something. That's how it sounds at least. The interesting thing is that it seems to only work with this very specific version of Sotec Firestorm, which is not available for public download. Uh, if you take this version, for example, which is the oldest, you can download in public from the Sotec website. This already looks much more familiar to a latest MSI Afterburner version, for example. But if I close the application in the back now, you might notice this by the annoying noise that's gone, the display also shut off. So yeah, I'm not quite sure if it will support any more recent cards. That will definitely be something interesting, but it's also interesting that I can open both at the same time. I will try to figure it out. Not quite sure what's going on right now. I just tried to set some GPU clocks and memory clocks because when I just tested this, everything worked out extremely nice. Like this is a very nice tool, but then it suddenly shut down. And when I reopened, like re when I reconnected this, nothing happened anymore. I'm not quite sure what's going on. Seems like just reopening this again did its magic because this, this is really cool. It not only like sets the clock, but it immediately applies the clock. It's like on the fly overclocking. That is pretty amazing. You can even set the, the fan speed. You can crank it up and it immediately reacts. That's pretty cool. 
It's not the most recent card, but a few generations younger, now trying with a GTX 580 Lightning from MSI. Let's see if the Sotec Firestorm software still picks this up. Well, thanks Sotec for nothing. I'm not sure if the error message itself is just trash, like the way it's programmed, because looking at this Sparkle card, it also does not appear to be a Zotac card. That's why I'm not sure if it just means that it's not compatible, like a 580 might be too new, or if there is like a certain artificial limitation. The only Zotac card I still have here is this 8800 GT. Like all my new cards I have are not Zotac. There are all other brands, but not Zotac. So yeah, I will just try to add this one to the 580 and then see if this is some kind of workaround or not. You could probably say that it was expected, but this solution did not work. Okay, okay, now check this out. I just switched to a 3080 Ti because I thought, I mean, this is a like, non-branded card, like just pure NVIDIA. It works. It seems to work. And even the clock should be probably all right. This should be the 2D clock. That's amazing. I will just check with GPU-C, like opening the render test and see if it can run 3D clocks. Yeah, seems not to refresh it. Hmm. Let's try to simply just close it and reopen the software. Damn it, it's still only 420. Tried a lot of things, but yeah, it just seems to be not compatible. It kind of makes sense because it's a quite old software and it was certainly not written for these latest GPUs, but yeah, you can already see that the menu even is already not active. It's picking up things because you can see the temperature is changing. So if I run like GPU-C render test, the temperature is rising, but I just cannot change anything. And also the clock is not changing. So yeah, too bad, too bad. Just for the sake of opening it, that is how the display works or looks like from the inside. It's a VFD, a vacuum, fluorescent display. I hope I translated this correctly, but it's pretty old tech. That's something you used in the like the 70s or 80s. It's exactly the same as like an old TV worked and you have these like segments inside which are like phosphorus coated and then the way it works is basically you have the electrons like being shot at these phosphorus parts and then they're lighting up. It's a pretty standard, pretty basic old tech and because it requires a vacuum inside that's why you have those stacked plates of glass so you have enough room for building up everything inside. Pretty basic technology but also very strong technology works for ages but also explains why we had this like loud noise because you can operate them with DC voltage and also AC voltage but since we have like an I don't know 100 volt capacitor on the side it could be that this is run with AC and then if it's like AC then it could also be just like I don't know like 30 40 50 kilohertz and that could generate the noise we probably heard. Overall, it was a pretty nice thing to test. Never seen it before, also with the type of display they used. But at the same time, it's, it's such an annoying thing because it's such an annoying tone all the time. I don't know, like, like doing this for 30 minutes, like for an XOC session or whatever, when your fans are spinning at 100% fan speed anyway, no problem at all. But yeah, okay, Sheik, Sheik wants to join as usual. She seems not to, I mean, okay. She seems not to care about the, the annoying noise, but it seems like she's interested in uh, checking out Microsoft support. Anyway, I mean, the display itself, like just from the sharpness and everything and the depth of color and everything you have is amazing. Like this type of display is absolutely beautiful. It, it also looks much better than any like LCD and stuff but just this noise would drive you crazy. I don't see how anybody would put this on his table for longer than like 30 minutes without going completely nuts. At the same time, it just, it just reminds me that like limiting devices like this to a certain vendor, like just limiting this to Zotac is so unnecessary and so stupid. And um, I also found a review from Tech Power Up from like 14 years ago, which also directly stated that the biggest like criticism point is that it's only limited to Zotec cards. It seems to be open for like maybe Nvidia reference cards, but whenever it's branded, as we saw with like MSI or ASUS, then it won't pick it up. By the way, I checked this is also getting detected as like Nvidia card and not like a Sparkle card. That's probably why we were able to use this in the first place. Otherwise, it would probably not be possible. Overall, pretty nice thing. Uh, thanks to Bernd for shooting this over to us. So we were able to check this out. 
Thanks for tuning in. Till next time. Bye bye.